So good morning everyone, welcome Hello. to our next vlog. We've just moved into our flat in Amsterdam. Yeah, we just moved in, we just got the keys. Just got the keys this morning. Yeah. And we're so we're so happy. We're we, so we, happy. We knew from the flat viewing that we really fell in love with this flat. Yeah. And we were quite lucky getting it. It's the second flat that we put in an offer, an offer. for. Um, so yeah, this video log is just gonna show the day, the last day in Amsterdam. Um, what we're doing today, we're gonna fly back. We've got to do some stuff in Munich. Yeah, you don't really have to do some stuff in Munich, but yeah, me I not. have. Me not. Me not. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to do so much to. Yeah, I really have to sort out literally everything you can imagine with flat, with everything. Everything. Car, blah. Have yeah. insurance. De registering. De registering and um, taxes because that's quite different here in the Netherlands. But um, I think it will be very stressful the next two weeks. Yeah. And we already paid rent for the first month for September. So we. From really, the 9th. From the 9th of September. Yeah. So we really don't want to. We, we, we don't really want to uh, rush too much, but we also want to move as soon as possible, as yeah. soon as I sort, sorted everything out. And um, I think it might be quite interesting for everyone who's moving, so especially from Germany to the Netherlands and from England to the Netherlands, what you have to do when you're moving to a different country. Yeah. Yeah, I would say we're going to have some breakfast now. Yeah, going to have some breakfast. Hungary. We've already found some nice restaurants and places that we like to eat. Yes. Um, and then we've got a flight in a few hours, so we'll make our way to the airport. Yeah. And all, all that right. stuff. So keep you guys updated. Yeah. And see you. See you Much uh, sausage, hash brown, eggs, bacon, and I'm trying some pancakes, um, and then there's maple syrup there. Um, yeah, I never tried this combination before, so let's see how it goes. But it looks really, really good. Might be a bit windy, but we yeah. try. So we just had a nice breakfast um, in this greens and something. Something. I can't remember what the name was. It was an they... English tea and breakfast restaurant. Yeah, brunch. Um, I had some very nice pancakes. And you said they have this traditional English something? They have traditional tea and scones with jam and cream and that stuff. Yeah. But we didn't get that. I got pancakes with sausage, eggs, bacon, all yeah. that good stuff. And I got the only vegan yeah, breakfast option. Big the, vegan breakfast. Well, it was too big for me, but it was quite good. And now we're walking back to our flat. Ah. In this beautiful street, <laughs> Amsterdam, and then we kind of need to hurry up a bit to yeah, we need get to, get to, to the, the airport. Yeah, Skiphol Airport. 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 <laughs> airport. And um, yeah, so we'll keep you guys updated. Is this for the vlog? So somehow we managed to get our suitcases up. I don't know how we should move here with furniture. Oh no, the furniture got... Huh? Not ideal, but not too bad. Oh my god, I need to do more sport, Thomas. Yeah. Otherwise you have that's to carry job, me right? up. What? To make you more sporty. Yeah, that's your job, Mr. Personal Trainer. Let's get Airport now. No. <laughs> uh. And I just told Thomas, I said to him that the last time when we were in Amsterdam together, yeah. We had to say goodbye here, and it was. It was a few times. It though, was wasn't a few it? times. It was so sad, wasn't oh, it? Yeah. Oh, it was heartbreaking, sad, and now we're moving together to Amsterdam. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good memories and some sad memories, and now we're searching for our gate because we have to check in our big baggage and yeah. And we're flying back to Munich. So guys, we're here in plenty of time, about one hour. 
Sarah was a little bit stressy no. before we left uh, the apartment. Uh, 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 uh. And I just told her, don't worry, just trust the universe. Trust Every the universe. Everything is all good. Everything's on time. Just yeah. go with your intuition. I just, don't yeah, stress. Yeah, yeah. So Sarah's getting some Amsterdam goodies. Yes. <laughs> Cheese for my waffles yes, and waffles and Dutch Dutch cheese. Original cheese. For my family, I think they can share it. It's I think big. I think that's a good present. Okay. to be back in Munich right now. It's so sunny, the weather is amazing, 27 degrees, can't be better. And, uh, Welcome just, to and Germany. I'm just missing Amsterdam right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm completely fine being back and I am, yeah, I kind of already feel a bit stressed for the next upcoming two weeks because I have so much to do. But, um, yeah, we can do that and I will just take everything slowly. So hey guys, we uh, are back in Sarah's flat right now. Flight went good. We... Oh, oh we missed this. Oh. Look, this and my banana tree. <laughs> well, we can bring uh, Esmeralda, we can bring the other Esmeralda's, plants. Esmeralda's, right? the plant there, the plant there. Yeah, uh, we just got back like a few hours ago. We just had a nice Indian food. Yeah, now we're just gonna enjoy coffee, watch some arrow. Without caffeine. Without caffeine, yeah, Without decaf caffeine, this decaf, time. Decaf, yeah. I'm uh, gonna watch some Arrow and um, yeah, we'll keep you guys updated about what we're doing the next one, two weeks before we move back to Amsterdam. Um, so yeah. All right. Good night. Um, good night. So guys, this is the first day back from Amsterdam and Sarah's out at the moment. She's collecting some stuff, an ID card and everything like that. I just wanted to give you guys a little update, solo update. Um, so I just had an interview for a personal training job in the Netherlands. It went good. I'm not a big a fan of web video conferences, video calls and stuff like that. I find it a bit awkward, um, but it was good. I've had interviews in the past about IT jobs and it didn't really go so well, especially after traveling. I did this IT job or this IT interview, I mean. I did this IT interview where it just didn't go well at all because I'd pretty much forgotten all the knowledge that I needed but um, I felt like it was a good try to get into Amsterdam at the time uh, but that was a bit awkward, awkward silences, awkward oh I don't know, hmm, can you repeat the question um, but, <laughs> but this one was, was really good, everything was flowing nicely and I know my stuff with personal training so I was able to answer the questions all good. Um, so we're gonna wait to hear back for that. Gonna! We watch so much Arrow that we're starting to speak wanna, gonna, this American sort of style. Um, so we are going, I am going to wait to next week to get an update from them. Um, but it would be really good for me to get stuck in some work uh, when we first go to Amsterdam. It's quite many hours, it's about 40 hours a week but I haven't worked for quite a long time due to my health problems, my candida and my gut problems and traveling as well. So yeah, looking forward to it. It's a nice day in Munich. I'm gonna to go to the gym and keep you guys updated. Just to give you a quick update on what me and Sarah are doing. We're preparing to move to Amsterdam, so we have to do a lot of tidying up, a lot of packing. We're just figuring out now if we want to fly there or to drive, but it takes about 10 hours from where we are right now. Um, and also yesterday we applied for all the water, the gas, the electric, sorting all that stuff out, getting the best deal that we can, um, which was all a very easy process. Just type in your address figure out what sort of company you want to go with um, and sign up pretty much. So we've got all that sorted out. 
the next thing we need to do is register at the City Hall. Um, you can either do that online, you can find information online, obviously depending on where you are in the Netherlands, um, and this also applies to every country as well, but you can find that information out online, either call them, email them, or fill out an application form. So we're gonna do that as well. Um, I've been just going to the gym. We've been filming quite a lot of YouTube videos, which you guys have seen on our channel, so that's cool. Um, so yeah, keep you guys updated. Speak soon. So guys, we've been in Amsterdam for about three weeks now. Already. And uh, sorry for not posting any updates. Um, yeah. We've kind of fast forwarded it to now. Um, we had just really much to do in Munich. I had a quite a stressy time these two weeks. I had to say goodbye to my family. And to be honest, I wasn't really in the best mood for filming everything. Yeah, my brain fog's got um, quite bad as yeah. well. Today's like the only day where I'm starting to feel a little L bit better. Literally, and since we're here. So it's been quite a stressful, um, time. not the best time. We've had some nice times. We went to Anne Frank House, which was very interesting. Yes. We've just been chilling, self-quarantining. Yeah. Um, I had a Cambo ceremony two weeks ago, which is Amazonian frog uh, poison medicine, um, where your body goes through a big detox. Um, it's very cleansing. Um, but the guy who was actually giving the ceremony, he tested positive for Corona about two, three days after we saw him. And he actually had symptoms on the day we saw him because Sarah noticed that he was coughing in his hand and things. And we were with him for four, four hours, hours yes. um, in very close contact. So he messaged us the week after and said that he had a Corona test and that he was positive. So that has been very stressful. Sarah thought she had corona yeah. she's had a slight temperature from yeah, uh, be, be, period yeah because PMS. When, when i'm having my period before i get my period i have quite a bad pms mm -hmm. um if you guys know about the pms symptoms you can get hot flashes and i have that almost every month but this time i was so such a hypochondic about fuck do i really have corona now what's going on we called the corona hotline uh, we weren't able to get a test because our symptoms weren't enough because we didn't have symptoms, but like I thought my, thought I thought my slightly temperature is maybe enough symptom to get a test, but it wasn't. So um, this is now almost two weeks ago yeah. already. So we kind of were in self quarantine since then. We tried to really um, stay inside as much as possible. We ordered our food online most of the time. And um, yeah, but we only knew about that he got Corona a week after. Yeah. So we didn't know that he got tested for a week, which isn't good. Yeah, and if you guys are interested about this Cambo medicine, I can do a video about that. Um, I'm going to need about three or four different ceremonies, different treatments to actually have a strong effect. But the guy <laughs> said that what he'd seen in, the, in, my, in my vomit was something similar to what drug addicts for 10, 20 years, like really severe drug addicts have um, this very sort of toxic chem chemicals yes. and byproducts that are stuck in your system. Um, and the frog medicine, it kind of draws it out of your cells and then you purge and with all the bile and everything. Um, so I feel that, yeah, one session isn't going to really be no. like such a massive difference for me. Um, and I didn't really feel that much difference. So I'm planning on going again in the next few weeks, maybe when the corona, and he doesn't definitely doesn't have corona. We definitely don't have corona to obviously avoid the spreading of corona. But, yeah. yeah, and yeah, so we are here since almost three weeks now and we haven't filmed anything because 
his health situation got very worse since we are here and um, it wasn't the right time to film anything but today we thought we can share something what you guys when you're from Germany what you can do when you want to move to the Netherlands or when you want to move to another European country because it's really super easy. Um, I made a list on my um, iPhone. The pretty much only thing you have to do is, um, of course, if you have a flat, you have to cancel your flat or how do you say it in English? Yeah, you, quit the contract. you have to quit your contract. And every, literally every contract you're having but I don't know in English but Sonderkündigungsrecht it's called in German is um, when you can show that you really moved you have a, a renting contract and everything and if you show that to your company say for your mobile phone for your gym for everything else you can just quit straight away you don't have to wait three months or longer to quit that so I did that and um, the only thing I did is pretty much deregistering from Germany and regist registering here online. Yeah, so for the Netherlands, you can easily book online. For Amsterdam, we had to phone up, um, so you can find out all that information online. And it, obviously, depending on which country um, you're living in or moving to, you can easily find all the information that you need on Google. Yeah, we can um, put a so, link down below. Yeah, but it was just the main uh, Amsterdam government website, um, and it gives you a number that you can call just to make an appointment. Um, so my appointment's in about one week. So that took about two, three weeks to actually get an appointment. But when you get the appointment, you get your BSN number, you'll get stuff sent to you in the post. And then that's when you can easily open a bank account, get health insurance and all this stuff. I've already got a bank account from the last time I lived yeah. in Rotterdam. So I haven't needed my BSN number yet. Uh, yeah. But it's all a f very easy process. It's really easy here in the Netherlands to yeah. do that. And, and everything is online. And for us to start with our bills and our um, gas, water, electric, that was very easy as well. I just googled comparison sites, which we can also um, put links in the um, description. Um, so you can compare different energy uh, providers. Um, and we just picked one that sounded good. They had green energy, not too expensive. Um, and then you just sign up online, put your address in. Same with the water. Um, so with that's the water. A, with the water. With the water. So everything's all smooth and easy going there. Yeah, so it wasn't complicated at, uh, at all at the end. And um, yeah, right now in Amsterdam, to give you a little update, we would really like to show you our flat. We really have a really fucking beautiful flat here. Yeah. Um, but <coughs> it's not really possible right now, um, unfortunately, because of some workers. Yeah, so we got told with one day notice that there was going to be painters. They needed to paint the whole back of the house. Um, and we were a bit like, mm, okay, all right then. Um, would have been nice if you would have told us a bit earlier, yeah, not one day before. Yeah, apparently the um, estate agent was meant to tell us, but he didn't. he didn't tell us. So we were a bit annoyed about that, but it was okay because they were going to compensate us for the inconvenience. Yeah, but it so. takes four weeks. So the back um, of our sleeping room is completely shut down. We can't... Oh, it's my hair too, will you? No, it's like I'm, I'm, I want to look at you while you're speaking, uh, but then your hair's in the way. So, so um, we, um, we are not even able to open our windows during the day. Just kleines bisschen, just a little bit, just kleines bisschen in the evenings because of the... How is it called, this metal thing? The Scaffolding. This, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's a bit um, shit right now to film the flat if you can't really properly see the sleeping room because it's very dark, very bluish because of something they put over the windows. So we will definitely wait with room tour till this is done and then you can see the flat nicely. Yeah. And I can't wait either to this funny habits again. So um, yeah, actually today the painters, um, they need to have access to our flat. Apparently. Apparently. So we woke up early at like 7.30 um, and was just waiting. We kind of cleared the room because we knew they had to come through our bedroom which to actually reach the Yeah, which um, isn't nice area. anyway because we are in a risk area here. Um, yeah. It's like we are kind of in a lockdown right now in the Netherlands. It's not a proper lockdown, but the restaurants, the cafes and the bars, they're shut up and closed. You can only order your food online and um, pick it up. So, and you're only allowed to use the public transport when you're going to work. Uh, if you have to go to the doctor, so if, if you only if you really have to. So as we are kind of in the self quarantine since anyway, since we know that we had contact with a corona person. Um, so the time here could be better, but could be also worse, of course. And um, yeah, 
So we are already about to film new vlogs for you guys to show you our daily life and to go back into the filming and um, yeah. And actually today Thomas started to create our own website because we would like to share so much more things with you guys and also Thomas is about to write something very special which you can show uh, or, or look into um, hopefully very very soon. So um, we can keep you guys updated with this whole process as well and I think some really nice things are going to happen soon. Yeah. So, so we'll speak soon. Baboon. Baboons. And yeah, have a good day and stay healthy.